Today is a momentous historic occasion for the proud people of planet Kazuna. Today we launch our latest exploratory mission to uncharted space. We have the utmost confidence in our crew of elite scientists. We trust that they will see this mission through with dignity and honor, for they are the most brilliant and distinguished minds Pozuda has to offer. Farewell, brave explorers. You shall be our representatives to countless unknown worlds. We wish you safe travel, and may the light of the continuum shine upon you. All crew should report to the cryostasis sleep pods to begin the initiation of automated launch. Please look into the light to enter the cryosleep combination. Yes, sir, Captain Flax. You are hereby ordered to report to the bridge immediately to get ridiculously drunk with me. <laughs> nah. Yes, sir, yes, sir. <laughs> Today is a proud, momentous occasion for the proud people of Pussy. <laughs> Dude, you sound just like him. I can't believe we pulled this off. So. Where do you want to go first? Well, I've been having some, some thoughts about that. I am already way too drunk to be navigating this vessel. And I know you're in a similar position. So I was thinking we should wake somebody up and get them to be our designated navigator. It's the responsible thing to do. All right. All right. I, I agree. And I know just the who, how to do it. Right? Oh, seriously, her? Look, CR was the best navigator on Pazuda. She was top of her class at the Space Academy. No, no, come on. This is supposed to be a guy's night. Why would we want to ruin it by going and waking her up? I mean, I, she's... Oh, I get it. You want to blarg her. I do not want to blarg her. I mean, I totally would blarg her, but... Drek, that's not... I get it. She's hot. But there are literally octillions of other life forms out there in the galaxy just waiting for us to dock in their bays, man. Well, I want to get to know her better, okay? No, no. There's no way we're waking her up. Laser face a blaster for it? <sighs> Fine. Laser face a blaster pew. Laser phaser, blaster pew. Laser phaser, blaster pew. Ah, blaster beat phaser. All right, you win, lover boy. But if she blarks this up, I'm holding you responsible. Good morning, Ziora. Are we there already? No. Oh. What? what? We're not going to... Front and Aloise system, then why are you waking me up? You see... Wait! Was there a malfunction? Did the hull breach? Do we need to get down to engineering and no, check on that? Nothing like that. She was fine. And what the corp is going on? Why did you wake me up? See... I'm maybe sort of... have a surprise for you. A surprise? Attention crew, this is your new captain speaking, Captain Flax. <laughs> Our original mission has been cancelled. We will now embark on a non-stop planet hop in search of inebriation and fornication. 
All crew members currently sleeping in stasis pods are instructed to remain sleeping. Commander Drek, Lieutenant Ziora, report to the bridge at once to party! <laughs> that's out of the question, Lieutenant Ziora. You see, Drek and I have just broken a long list of protocols. Exiting a stasis pod before the scheduled time, hijacking a Class 9 Federation starship, drinking in the workplace, and so on. And since Drek Blarking insisted that we bring you along... Actually, I beat him at least. That, uh, that means that you're an accomplice. Guilty by association. There's no put turning back now, Z. And don't worry about any of the scientists finding out. I've got a plan to get us back on the original course without anyone knowing the lines in it. Fine. So where do you want to go, Captain? <laughs> That's the spirit, Z. All right. Show us every nearby planet with atmosphere. Roth, 401, Class B planet, home of the Intergalactic Revenue Service. Oh, that sounds so boring. Somewhere fun, somewhere fun. Palladia 21, Ooh, Class B planet, their main export is high fashion nail polish. They have so many colors. No. Fine. Uh, Frixion X52. Oh, no, 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 nobody likes Zognoids. Come on, Ziora, these are terrible suggestions. When I said a planet with atmosphere, I meant party atmosphere. Wait, 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 go back. Frixion 2 Earth, home of the most intoxicated species in the galaxy. You don't want to go there. It's Class D, and we'll die the planet. This is ridiculous, Siora. <laughs> All of these are terrible. You're not even trying. I want to find a planet with alien women, with foxy alien women. The foxier, the better. Why didn't you say so? Zerda 9, Class A planet. 89% of the population is female, and none of the inhabitants ever wear clothing because their society never developed a shape for nudity. Said to be the foxiest planet in the universe. for years, just your ordinary region of space-time with such a strong gravitational pull that nothing, not even light or electromagnetic radiation, can escape. Black holes are so much more than that. While it's true that nothing can escape the... Oh, is he getting along with this? It depends. He gets this way when he talks about theoretical physics. It's even worse when he's trying to impress a girl. What? By the gravitational pull. Seriously? Now, you haven't picked up on that yet? Class nine you mean to say that Drek likes me? Oh my continuum, yes. He 
he's got it real bad for you. Relative time and location. The I don't get what he sees in you either. We transported back in time. See, the infinite singularity stretches all the way back to the first recorded date in history. It's the infinite first date. Drek, what first name are you going on about? Yeah, man. Could you just hit the too smart button on this and just explain it plainly? We can circle around the black hole at these coordinates and time travel back to the starting point of our mission like we never missed a person. Well, of course. It's so simple. I could follow it. Ziora, are you, you saying you had trouble following that? Sheesh. I thought you were the best navigator in Space Academy. You know, Flax, you were pretty famous in Space Academy, too. I talked to several of the women in your graduating class. You know what their nickname for you was? The Crabs Nebula. <laughs> uh oh. Either way, using the black hole, we can go back in time to whenever we wanted without the scientists in stasis knowing that we ever hijacked the ship. Uh, Captain, we're receiving a distress call from Midori. Planet Midori. A world of Midorians, Class A planet. There are varying accounts of interactions with the species, but the prevailing theory is that they are welcoming and horny. Well, what are we waiting for? Lieutenant Ziora, set a course for Planet Midori. Aye, aye, Captain. I know you're just itching to get there. <laughs> Shut up. one of those planets that they're not actually covered in horns, are they? No. According to the data we have on file, they're personally just like us. Greetings, travelers. I am Lazula, Queen of Majori. Welcome to our world. Well, well, your majesty. I'm Captain Flax of the planet Posida, and we're on an intergalactic mission to find the best party in all the universe. You have come to the right place, Flax of Posida. Party you desire, and party you shall. Oh. And what if your underlings? Huh? Oh, what? Uh, Shall uh, we serve them as well? Oh, sure, whatever. Uh, and what of you, traveler? Would it please you to join me? I, uh, suppose it'd be rude to not join you. You must be in need of comfort. Come with me. Uh, it's a nice place you got here. Uh, I desire you very much, Chad. Please, allow me to make you comfortable. You guys get right to it here, don't you? I mean, shouldn't we talk first? And now I shall restrain your limbs. Uh, we get to know each other first. Oh, uh, like, uh, what's your favorite color? That's a my stupid question. And now I shall apply the oils to your flesh. Oil? Uh, oh, that feels good. And now, I shall apply the sodium crystals. Sodium crystals? Wait, that's salt. Why are you putting salt on me? To season your skin. Uh, no, wait, let me go. Let me go! <clears throat> you shall be a delicious feast. No. Pazudian flesh is a delicacy on this planet. No, uh, let me go. I must leave now to go preheat the roasting machine. 
I will return shortly to stuff your anal cavity with fresh herbs. I'm about to be in the middle of two things. I can see you're in the middle of a quack damn cooking pot. We gotta fly, these Midorians are trying to eat us. Let's go! Oh. Yeah, that's a shame. I really thought we had a connection. Alright. You want tire? I'll keep a lookout. And uh, then we gotta get back to the ship. Come on. Mm. Trek, what are you doing? Come on, we gotta go. What are you guys doing here? Zero, come on, we gotta go. I was getting the best fall treatment of my life. Zero, let's go. They're trying to eat us. I hope they do. It's been a long time since a man did that for me. No, I mean... Our feast is escaping! Sound the alarm! you idiots. First you're dying to find horny aliens, and then when you do, you eject at the last second. I was totally about to seal the deal when you guys burst in and ruined it. What? What? I'm gonna go synthesize something to eat. I'm starving. Yeah, I'll bet you are. Shut up! me again. Be another delivery order. Send out another distress signal. Legendary adventurer, part-time male model, and uh. Barkeep, keep them coming. You wouldn't believe the night I've had. We're so young and healthy, so strong and proud. Not afraid to love out. So, can I buy you a drink? Rain, Jerry, and Lungha. Ray of the Wand. I'm just gonna go ahead and assume your name is Ray. <laughs> Not that I can care, of course. It's Luani under two moons. That's fascinating. That's 
I'll see your bet. Raging third credit. So, <laughs> you probably get this all the time, but uh, has anyone ever told you you're hotter than a supernova? Temba, his arms open. Uh, you, you, you don't understand a thing I'm saying, do you? Temba at rest. <laughs> well, that's okay. I don't understand what you're saying either, but I don't need to, because I speak the intergalactic language of love. And they were real foxes. Like, actually just a bunch of foxes. These barg heads, they had no idea. <laughs> Shaka when the walls fell. Hey, come on. Don't they have kissing on your planet? We have a ten mark in winter. Come on, baby, don't be such a sunspot. Let's form an alliance. Nera with sails unfurled. Hey, come on, where are you going? So strong and proud, not afraid to love out loud. I'll be right here when you change your mind. Shenza, the court of silence. Oh, you'll be back. Yeah, yeah, you'll be back. I can see it in what I'm assuming were your eyes. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna be back, so <laughs> until you are, I'm just gonna stay right here. <laughs> She was so, so into me. Glax, we have fled or been banned from five Class C planets, nine Class B planets, and all Class A planets. If we had just been there a bit longer, she would be mine. Shut up, both of you. Shut the blarg up. I say we just call it a night. Put on a hologram and chill. What? No! No! No, 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 we can't do that! Flax, our mission has failed. There are no other planets to go to except for the Shady Dive planets. Why don't we just have a party on the ship? You, me, a few drinks? No, 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 no more drinks. Dive. Drek, that's it! Ziora! Mark off! What was the name of the dive planet that you told us about at the beginning of the night? No, Flax, no. Earth. It's called Earth. A long time ago, this crazy dude named Zeno froze a bunch of his followers, and he dropped them into the volcanoes, and then he blew them all up. And now every sentient being on the planet is inhabited by an ancient space ghost. It's a madhouse. A haunted dive planet? Oh, we've got to check this out. Flax, this is a terrible idea. Look at those coordinates. It's a bad neighborhood. Hey, I am not going back in my stasis pod until we find what we're after. Come on, man, let's go. Fine, but it's just a short visit. <laughs> Ziora, set a course for Earth. Earth. Really? Then why is there an A? Then? I'm just gonna keep calling it ER. Charting course. Estimated arrival in 10 cycles. Let's get this over with. Here we go again. 